Release the flying reptiles from a regular hatchery using this trick, no mods required. A super quick and easy way to make a beautiful natural reserve, or to just watch your flying reptiles attack the helicopter. Hello everyone and thank you so much for checking out this video. Jurassic World Evolution 2's free update gives us extra reasons to want our pterosaurs out in the open and not contained in the aviaries. And the easiest way to do that is to have them release from the regular hatchery. The trick is pretty much the same as the trick I showed you last week to get dinosaurs inside of the aviary. In that video I also showed you how to get the flying reptiles out of the regular hatchery but it was at the end of that video so a lot of people missed it. Hence I'm showcasing it in this dedicated video so I can easily point people to this one and help them out. Everyone was super afraid that Frontier would patch out this trick immediately but I am happy to report that that is not the case and since they haven't now I don't think they ever will. To make it work you do need an aviary as well as an aviary hatchery but we will not be releasing our animals from here. We will be releasing our animals from a regular hatchery. Let me spin her around and of course what we also need is an entry point for our park. So we're gonna connect all of these up. There you go. And now what you wanna do is the first step, go into the regular dinosaur hatchery, go to synthesize dinosaur. We have our full dinosaur roster here. We don't want that. So you're gonna go up to filters and you're going to select new. And this clears out the, the entire roster. It clears out the entire roster from the regular hatchery. So we're gonna leave. Now we're gonna go into our aviary hatchery, synthesize dinosaur, that's a lie, it's a flying reptile. And uh, sure, why not? We'll do Quetzalcoatlus. So just select the creature that you want, in this case, Quetzalcoatlus. Don't do anything, just exit the aviary hatchery. There you go, we've done nothing. We're gonna go back to our regular hatchery here and this is where you're gonna see the magic happen. So we're gonna enter the hatchery, synthesize dinosaur, and again, that's a lie. We're not gonna synthesize a dinosaur. We're gonna synthesize the Quetzalcoatlus. You can see it right here at the top. It is now selected in the regular hatchery through some sort of bug or glitch in the game, which is absolutely brilliant. So what we do now is we begin task, and you can see that the Quetzalcoatlus is being created in the regular hatchery. And now in the meantime, what you can do is, let's say we also want to make our cute, beautiful Tapajara, right? So we just select the Tapajara. Again, we leave the aviary hatchery. We go over here, synthesize dinosaur, and there you go, you can see Tapajara. Now maybe you're thinking to yourself, well, I don't want it to be Solar del Huasco or Chalcarana. You could have changed that in the aviary hatchery, but you can also just do it here. Modify genome. Let's randomize it. That's always my preferred trick for uh, for most of the species. Save and exit. Here you go. Still top jar in the regular land genome library. Begin task. And now we're also creating the top jar. Let me fly through this. Select the kits. Let's select our top jars. We're just waiting for them to hatch over here. Again, we're not doing anything over here. All we did was select them. So just make it like the light blue, that's all you gotta do. She rhymes now, that is like new achievement unlocked. Now let's see, we have the top jars ready to go. So we're just gonna go in here and we're gonna release. Obviously this animation does not line up with the building, but the effects are pretty good. Oh wow, it's like golden. And they come flying out. And just like that, with no effort at all, you have your flying reptiles out into the open. And again, this is so ideal if you're making just a natural reserve and you want your creatures to be flying around. You don't want to release them into the hatchery first and wait for them to finally break out and leave the aviary. You don't want that. Let's also release the kits. That's kind of cool. <laughs> oh. We go through a wall, the cats goes through a wall, we all go through a wall. Walls mean nothing to us. They have no power here. And there you have it, just like that, the Quetzalcoatlus is now in your parks. 
Which means you are free to, uh, oh, I don't know, wreak some havoc on a helicopter, I suppose. Let's take to the skies. And just like that, you saw how easy it is. And again, I'm not using any mods in my park. This is completely unmodded, so you can do this on console as well. Now, if you want to know how to release... There it goes. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> Now, if you want to know how to release dinosaurs into the aviary, which is also a really cool way to create unique parks, then you can check out the video that I will link at the end of this one, which is the one from last week. And people have been telling me all week that, oh, it also works for the lagoons. You can release normal dinosaurs into the lagoons. You can release flying reptiles into the lagoons. It works, it works. Um, sure, I guess I have a different definition of works because I don't think it works. Yes, you can release your land dinosaurs from the lagoon hatchery. They'll perform their exit animation and then they'll just stop. They will not move from the position that the exit animation leaves them in. This T-Rex just keeps roaring over and over. Other dinosaurs just, you know, stand still. Like they do their idle animation, but they won't move. Personally, just not something I'm interested in. Uh, I released the Quetzalcoatlus into the lagoon. It swam, quote unquote, or flew underwater for a while. And then eventually it somehow got stuck in the hatchery itself. It's just not really the effect that I would personally go for in my parks. But hey, if you think this works, then have at it and enjoy this part of it as well. I really hope that this trick helps you out building awesome parks. If the video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and until next time, enjoy the game.